everybody, my name is Sean Tambere. I'm a dancer all the way from Zimbabwe and um, I've been dancing for what, over a decade and a half, give or take two years. Um, my thought process behind this piece, which was made in the morning, in like a space of <laughs> 45 minutes, was just sitting in the pocket of pretty much what the beat was giving me. Uh, but also eating everything, but not eating everything, if that makes sense. Uh, so you find moments where I catch everything that you hear in the music, and then moments where I'm just riding the music and going with the flow and the vibe. Um, I can say I put like a lot of thought into what I wanted to hit and what I wanted to present. I just went with the vibe and the flow that I felt in the morning when I was working on it. So yeah, my inspiration, well, there are a lot of inspirations that come to mind. Um, but I think my inspiration for uh, this piece was mainly just enjoying the music, uh, letting it speak to me and then see what my body says in response to what the music was telling me to do. Um, and obviously a whole bunch of experience over the years, but I'm talking too much. That's me. I'm out. That's it. Catch you later. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
I thought it was going to be. I learned it in like 20 minutes. So props to Mel for choreographing that in 20 minutes on someone else. Like it's different when, you chore when you're choreographing for yourself really quickly. It's all on you. But when you're choreographing for someone else, in such a short space of time, it's actually a lot more difficult. But I guess because Miles known me almost my whole life, so she knows what I can do now. <laughs> She's used to working with me. But still, congrats, Mel. I love her choreo. It's always fun to do. It's always fun to perform. She always has cool, quirky movements in there. I mean, there's a part that the music speeds up, and I also wanted to speed up, and she was like, slow down. So the movements are opposite to the music, which I love to do. I like the little turns she puts and then start from the ground and go back up. Yeah, it's really cool. I wish Toby and Sean could have reacted to this and probably moved it. It would have probably been more entertaining, but you got me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, what's up? My name is Toby Fridge. I'm 18 years old. Uh, I've been dancing for 12 years here in Zimbabwe. Um, so yeah, that's me. Basically, my thought process behind this piece was, well, first of all, I haven't choreographed anything in literally like a year, if more even. Um, but I, I wanted it to be sort of a spontaneous thing. I wanted to see, because it had been so long, I wanted to see like sort of what my process would be um, if I just jump straight into it and sort of choose each move as it comes and um, incorporate each thought I had straight into my movement without thinking about it too much. Personally, I dance very, um, you know, with a lot of precision. I, I like to pick out you know, the different musical elements and sort of um, choreograph very precisely to each thing. For example, the bass, the snare, the hi-hats, all of that stuff. Um, I've always been a very technical dancer when it comes to that. So yeah, that was that was basically my, my process. I just wanted to do whatever came to mind first um, to see what would come out of it. I've incorporated elements of crump, um, sort of hard-hitting hip-hop. In terms of inspiration, I'd say I didn't really want to be inspired too much by other dancers. I wanted to see my own direction. I wanted to take my own direction with it and um, be unique in myself um, in this choreography. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. In terms of how long it took me to, to choreograph, I'd say um, it depends because the choreography process is also listening to the song and catching out all the things that I want to include in my choreography. So, in terms of that, I'd say maybe two days. Um, but in terms of actually dancing and incorporating the movements, most of it was done last night um, and yesterday, so I'd say about maybe three, four hours in total. Who knows? Wait, actually there was a bit of inspiration. You'll see, final move in my dance is inspired by this man, Sean, right here? Like, one of your like all-time favorite dance moves. You'll see, you'll see. I'll see. I will be shot if we have similar movements yes. somewhere. You'll see. <laughs> Wow, the musicality is amazing. That's so impressive. I, I think the control, the way it started from like, it took you from on a journey from ground level all the way up, and the power and the control is in the footwork. Yeah. I think the timing and the musicality, yeah. and I was on a journey from the beginning to the end, and I really wanted to dance. So this year I can dance. So. Amazing. Wow. Well done, Toby. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, let me know what else you'd like to see. I hope you follow everyone that I featured in this video. I'll leave their socials down below. They have YouTube channels and Instagram and everything. So if you want to see more of them, head over to their social media. And if you want to see more of me, my social media will also be in the links down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. It is what it is. <laughs> It what it ain't. It's not supposed to be what it's not supposed to be. <laughs> no idea what it should actually be. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay.
How long did I take? You, you photo bomb mine. No, video bomb. So I'm a video, video bomb. bomb. <laughs> video bomb, please. Okay, get out of here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In terms of how long it took me to...